So I'm in that DC area, which is a top 10 market. Like, what's up? Like, I'm from here. I play ball in another area. Like, of course I should be your sports anchor NBC4, like at 24, like, at yeah. 23. What do you mean? It's yeah. a no brainer. Yeah. Not quite how it works, guys. Um, <laughs> let let so, them know because people are going to be listening. Like They want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, it's interesting because I was actually having this conversation with my homegirl, LaChina Robinson, yesterday, who's a guest I definitely recommend. Okay. Um, and, Check, and there got is that. This, <laughs> when I, so this is for me 2013 and there was this, and I, I still think to a degree this is true, but I don't think it has to be as harshly true as it was then. There was the notion of paying your dues. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about, when I look back at it, it wasn't that you can't be 25 in a top 10 market. It was that you need to have the type of seasoning that a top 10 market warrants. Mm -hmm. And while I had the enthusiasm and the knowledge, I did not have the reps, so to speak, mm -hmm. cross sports, cross life. Fair. You got to yeah. get your reps, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, I think just as we see in sports, young people with the power of social media are beginning to specialize even in their career fields, particularly those that are in front of the camera earlier, so they can have some of that seasoning younger. I like and so that. I am hesitant to just throw pay your dues out there. While I think there is a place for getting your reps and getting your seasoning, I don't think that that should stop younger people, women, people of color from going after dreams that somebody else might say you're not ready for. Mm. Mm. That's okay. Good. So there's That's a little good. bit of a balance there. Now for yeah. me personally, wasn't ready. Needed to go get my reps, right? <laughs> and I was fortunate that a lot of my reps came. Um, I got to stay in the DC area. I worked for the cable sister station to the ABC affiliate for two years. Then I got to move down to Florida. The network I worked with at the time was a hot mess, but I got to wear every hat. I was on the sideline for minor league baseball, like college football. I was hosting. And so it was all of these reps with fewer eyeballs on me. So the hiccups mm -hmm. and the bumps and bruises that are inevitable were not put on front street, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, when I left that shop in Florida in 2017, it was because the shop was closing and we were laid off. Mm -hmm. And I remember having been through a layoff at that point thinking, oh, no big deal. Like, I'll get a job in six months, right? Mm -hmm. Which was, you know, okay. It was positive, but maybe a little bit naive. It didn't happen for me that way. And mm -hmm. so it took 18 months to kind of get back into it in a way in which I felt like this was a career. And I remember, because, you know, in D.C., like, not that I was dating, but just on the social scene, people always ask you, well, what do you do? And I remember being like, are you okay? Hold on, I'm thinking about what I do. Because right now I substitute teach. I teach cycle class. Do I, like, you do a little you know bit of everything. I'm just, I'm doing a lot of things. Um, and so, but for me, that window of time was so instrumental in separating who I am from what I do that I would not change a single thing about that season of my life. Um, and so love for it. me, paying your dues has not meant wait till you get a certain age to achieve something. It meant going to go get your reps. It meant growing as a person and not just a professional. Um, and so here we are today. Awesome. I love that. Just to hear that you it. were able to understand the respect that you had to pay your dues. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, we talked a little bit about this um, in our last episode, how we're just in this fast, we, this like microwave type generation where we just want to wake up, click, and we want success mm -hmm. instantaneously. And we don't want to put that grind. I want to put that extra work in and really acknowledge that we have to put in that extra time to to get to to get the respect that we want to have. 